All right. Well, everybody, welcome to the latest live stream. Hope everyone's well. Back again on the PC after a couple of weeks um, doing vertical lives. I will continue doing vertical lives when I got a chance because they're really good. They gain a lot of views and such. But um, yeah, I'm back after three weeks or more um, being ill. Uh, let me put that there. Two. Oh, I've got to go and grab me water. Be back in one second. Forgot to get me water. I hope all is well. Do continue to chat. Be back in one sec. I knew I'd forget something. Oh, I've got the water. No, I'm sorry. I've got the water. Yeah, well, it's me, isn't it? Right, there we go. Got me water for later. Um, if you didn't know, I've been proper ill, um, the last three weeks or so, because, well, it started over a month ago, um, I had a bit of a sore throat and a, um, cough and a bit of a cold, and then that went, up, like, went away, but after well, I went to a concert on the 9th of, uh, March, it started on the 11th, uh, everything from conjunctivitis, to sore throat, cough, cold, sneezing, flu, um, aching bones. You know, I've had it on and off, but 95% <clears throat> much better, as you know. So, um, let's have a look where we are. Oh, yeah. I've got Instagram, I've got Facebook, all in the description below. <clears throat> got a Ko-Fi page as well, buy me coffee. eBay store, which is up here. I try and update as much as I can. I haven't done much over the last three weeks or so, but enough to keep going. Um, so, pop in the side chat. We've got Sue Carpers popped in. We've got Scooby Shaggy and Derek's driving. All right, Derek. <clears throat> no worries. <clears throat> so, I want to talk a bit about um, live selling. Um, like, uh, sorry, I don't, don't know. Live selling, like, <clears throat> on places um, you can live sell, like, for example, whatnot and all that. I think you can do that on other platforms as well. Also, I want to talk about selling in general as well. Um, how do you sell and what do you find the best way to sell online is? <clears throat> Got Richard popped in. Welcome, Richard. Hope all is going well to move and all that. Bill the Moon's popped in and Chris Tyler's popped in as well. She's popping in. Um, kind of got me thinking with everyone, like well, a lot of people going the whatnot route and getting all the... Um, uh introductions that they have to do you have to do like a introduction on um <clears throat> through the computer and stuff i can't remember what you call it uh masterpieces did say yeah the, the other day he's doing it um uh ian 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 uh master of pieces i might not be on the at the moment no but there's some sort of introduction thing anyway to whatnot. Um, like, uh, uh, onboarding session, because I typed in Google the other day, your onboarding session. So you got to do that before you can um, go live selling um, when you get accepted to do your onboarding session. That's right. <clears throat> but uh, I popped in a few, like I popped in Tom, these pickers, one, uh, popped in Zaheers and popped in Brums a few times. And I brought some vinyl off Brum, <laughs> his last show. Um, and I won an aero bar for his, um, <coughs> one of the giveaways. He does, does a lot of giveaways. Um, some good vinyl. Um, Gary Moore, uh, Rainbow, British and American rock band from 70s and 80s. Um, and Resident Evil vinyl. I was like, wow. Paid up a little bit for the Resident Evil vinyl, but it's classic though you gotta have it. it's one of my favorite officers should say my favorite um gaming series of all time but let us know your introductions and stuff to selling do you just sell um on your main platforms ebay vintage depop etsy for example or do you go all in go live selling do you try and sell on um uh instagram and stuff 
and um and sell on other um platforms let us know um <clears throat> uh so i'm trying to have a look smoother um tiktok that's it because you can do tiktok shops i think something like that um which is i think not a way i want to go forward for myself but i know a lot of people who do that particular thing with tiktok shops but i'll let us know how you um sell because i don't know myself if life selling is the future but personally i think um personally may well be if they can advertise a bit more and because a lot of people that I chat to like what not what, what what's this all about they don't un understand what it is so you have to sort of explain um is ebay live in america now i've not heard that it is but they always get it first i think ebay have really got to step up their mark with ebay live I personally think that, like, whatnot is doing quite well. Um, as long as you've got the, um, what's the word? <coughs> um, the captivated audience, sort of like, like, it helps, sort of, if you're a YouTuber or a in big Instagrammer, you can get a lot of people through. Um, if you do, like, vinyl, toys, clothing, you can get quite a good bit of money um, throughout. But I don't know. I have no idea. If anyone knows, let us know. I've heard it was coming to America, but I really can't see how eBay Live selling is going to compete with likes of whatnot, for example. But you, you never know because um, let's go to whatnot, whatnot. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. Uh, no, I need to log in. Uh, username. I've no idea what your password is. <clears throat> Gotta have a look from my whatnot password. Um uh, oh. I think that's it. Uh oh, you gotta have a texted code to enter. Okay. There we go. Perfect. We're are we in? Are we in? Are we in? Yep, yeah, we're in. Lovely. That's what I like to see. Right. Just to share you a bit of um, whatnot <clears throat> live. Not that I'm going to go into any other shows. Um, but I just want to show you there. <clears throat> um, let's have a look. What we got? Uh, present. Share screen. Entire screen audio. There we go. Ah, <clears throat> <coughs> oh, a bit of a cough still. There we go. The old, yeah, there we go. The old whatnot. The different types of people who are on. Um, quite a lot of them are American. I think you can do like um, UK and stuff and all that. But like cards do really well. Um, toys, games, vinyl. People who. Um, followed hosts. Who's live now? You got um, Chaddy P on for Women's Contemporary, probably his missus as well. Chris on tomorrow. Um, Pipster, the Flipster. Uh, Lex does really, really well. Luxury Pickers, obviously, they're going to be bombing it. And they've been down to the headquarters because um, they got invited out by. Um, what not the other day when they're in London got invited out to a brunch? <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> um, she does quite well as well. But jewelry, George Ross, um, and others. But I did see Brums last time I watched Brums. <coughs> um, but it's just, I think, do you think it'll be a good thing, like, like, future of n n selling as part of your like business? Um, I thought about it. I'm like, but it's 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 just one of those things. And what with um Vintage Pro supposed to be coming out very soon, um, get onto there and sort that out. But they have a load of TV TV problems with Vintage Pro. Um, 
Uh, oh, uh, who, who do I follow actually on? Uh, no, I don't do that. Uh, yeah, as I say, I follow Lex, Brum, Chris, Snowflakes. If I don't follow you on what not, I don't really watch it very often. Teddy Perry, Close Closet, Elevent, and Richard's supposed to be doing it. Apparently so. Night's Last supposed to be doing what not. Um, I only call stuff, but he's won't be doing for a while because he is um, uh, leaving his shop for good. Apparently, he says so what I see on um, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. It's a shame, um, but he's had a good go at his shop. Sam as well. But, um, yeah, all the usuals, realistically. I, Tam Bell, don't think they... They did what not, but I don't think they did it like um a lot. So I don't think it fit into their business mo model. Um <clears throat> but personally I think in like you know um it's gotta be fitted into a business model where you can like um sign up, do your onboarding session get accepted, do their usual bits because they want you to, to do loads of shows per whatever uh, and then gain a bit of cash and get the audience through if you've got a good social media presence. Um, try and spam the um, code where you get £10 or whatever it is. I did that with Tom and, and I got, got me 10 and I've, I've used it quite considerably um, on varying stuff. Um, but you've got to, if if you're just a buyer and whatnot, you've got to be careful because you don't spend too much money. Because sometimes the tax and the um, uh, tax and the um, uh, well, 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 basically a lot of fees, a few anyway, um, postage fees and stuff. That's what I'm trying to think, think about. Um, be quite high anyway. Um, but with Brum, he combines it anyway, and he's done his postage. He's probably shipped them already. Yeah, Chad Pete does, yeah, because he's got the audience, so Chris. Uh, hi, Pat, hope you're well. Um, hi, John, property mate, hope all is good with you. I'm bored now nah, watching. Yeah, that's personally why I don't watch a lot of whatnot. Um, as you saw, the people who are, um, follow and whatnot, I, I very rarely watch anyone. I happened to pop into Brum just to see what he was. I think it was on Sunday. Or was it Sunday or Monday? I can't remember when it, when it was. It was re recently, and I brought a fair few. No, no it might be Monday actually. Kind of, kind of think of it. Monday at six. So I got three vinyls, and what one is um uh one one of his many giveaways, and um but yeah, it, it's just same old, same old, isn't it? If you sort of like um. Know of the people, know of the people who are doing these things, and, and you kind of know what they're like and what happened and how to get the stock and stuff. I am for popping in, but it's also what you're thinking about. Like, well, once you've signed up and you've got a few people to, um, like sign up through your code and stuff, and then what you've got is you've got um, like you schedule uh, scheduled your first show, um, which is very very difficult now here in the UK as, as you saw there was quite a few shows um I can't remember someone did talk talk about that the other day it it, it might have been Chris actually Carbit Chris um and he said on Monday he said about his show and and how like I'm not sure if it was but so someone did and say about how like there's a lot people selling on um on whatnot in the uk and you have to sort of work out when it's sort of not so much best for you but best for the, like trying to um find a actual space to to kind of sell on you, you could sort of sell on once two three times a week or once a week it's, it's very difficult i find um on that particular way but when you've found it and you scheduled and you know what you're doing right and then you can put your pre-bids in put a few photographs up of the stuff you've got do a nice little thumbnail you know what i mean you you name it you've you've got it hi pw 
then you have the people popping in to buy your stuff. And I've seen a, like a few shows where people haven't got that, like many people in, or even if they've got people in and not buying, they don't want the stuff. They're interested, always interested in certain stuff. Obviously, luxury pickers, Chaddy Pete, Chris, George, Brown, and all that will get good money. Um, you, you know, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. As, as what, um, <coughs> uh, yeah, you, you know, I get that. Yeah, totally, hundred percent. Um, it's not just like you can love sell on whatever platform you want. You can, you can do it on um, YouTube, like what Nick and Andrew have done. But I know Nick and Andrew are going to give it a go. But you, you've got to sort of have a captivated audience who, who want to pop in time and time and time again and be able to understand um, the platform itself because. Um, uh, yeah, you've got like with Bram, he's got helpers. But if you're doing it on your on your own, I was talking to Tom. And you speak about that the other day about like having it, like doing it yourself. It's very difficult to do it by yourself. Um, and, and, and it's not a platform where you chat on when you're doing your whatnot shows. You've got to go dun 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 like what Bram does and stuff. There's a little bit of a conversation and stops and does that and yeah and that. You, you know what I mean? John, look now. That's what I'm saying. You have got so many p people on. Um, that have got like a lot of um, like, like less space to to be on. I don't know if if, if you're on whatnot. Um, how many times a week can you schedule a show? And if those people are on at that time, can you just just go live at the same time? Um, I think it's my password. Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to get back into it. I should have not come out of it. And myself. Um, right. So I'll submit. Because I don't know if you can go live. So many people going live. Or you've got a limited, limited amount of spaces. Um, followed hosts on there. So you say John Luke's live and whatnot. By the way, it's not just a whatnot show. You can you talk about like whatever talking about whatnot and and selling in general. Do you sell on other platforms? Etsy, Depop with no fees or whatever it is. Um, do you do live selling through uh, sell stuff through Instagram, uh, Vinted, eBay, other platforms um, that you can sell on. Um, but a lot of platforms do come and go. Forget eBay gum. They're they're buggered. The day bad it and that. Same with um, Facebook Marketplace. And, for example, uh, Gumtree, Spock, that you can sell on. It's just, you know what I mean? One of those things. And look, you, you say John Luke's on, Charlie P as well. Um, is, is it just John Luke, by the way? Um... John Luke. Let me just pop on there. J O Uh oh, there we go. Uh I'm not, no, don't do that. Oh we go. That's it. Follow. Uh following his profile on there. Uh, that's right. I'll get back into the chat in a sec. I just want to have a look through um, and following 24. <coughs> uh, oh, yeah, because cause of. Uh, I think that's right. The hills. Okay, cool. Um, let's le leave it on there for now. On um, followed hosts. Um, hi, Ian. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate that. And Glenn popped in. Welcome, Glenn. Hope all is well. Um, I think there is a place for live selling, but it's not be all and end all. Oh, 100% not. No. For most people, personally, can't live on just live selling. 
it's good to get things sold, but what you got to think about if you're selling clothing and you could sell something on on a major platform, eBay, um, and other platforms, right? Um, twice the price, but you got to think about you've you, you've got to start it at a good price, but it's always a very low price to sell. Seeing people do one pound bids and got a pound for something that could have gone for 15, 20 pounds, it's just you got to be captivating the audience. How did your um onboarding session go, Ian? But by the way, I saw you were doing an onboarding session. Um. To live sell efficiently, you've got to, you need to be an actual salesman. And that's not natural for most people. eBay says for internet experts, you don't need that skill. No, that's very, very true. You, you've got to be able to um, captivate your audience, not just like think, uh, what am I going to do next? Uh, uh, eat, uh. That's why, personally, for me, um, <coughs> I've, got, I've got a stock, don't get me wrong, stuff to sell, clothing um and football cards and that's trading card things but i personally for me not just the actual salesman itself i probably could do that myself to be more confident but it's all about like having the audience for me i always get afraid like a, a bit like if i'm organizing to meet people or organizing a meetup i get afraid if people don't pop in not much afraid, just just like worried. Like here, I, I, I sometimes get a bit. Oh, anyone's gonna pop in? Don't want to talk to myself. Not so much these days, but I have done. You know what I mean? I just just don't want to sit there. Like when I was doing my vertical lives, and I was like, I had a couple where no one's in. I was like, oh, then we're gonna pop in. Just sitting there talking for ages. Like, but I, I get that though. But you. You sort of got to diversify if you're selling on different. You've got to sell on different platforms because if one platform doesn't do very well, then you can try and sell on another platform. But I don't know. Like, it's very d difficult, um, like to try and captivate your audience and be actual. Got what you've got and um, and all that. There's a lot of time invested in whatnot. Anyway, once, twice, three times a week. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I get it though, because I see John Luke there. I've got him on there now. He's doing bangers, uh, for like um four and one tops and stuff. There you get. So you gotta have a good pile of stuff that you're picking in, um, that you're picking up and getting in ASAP. You know, but it's difficult for a lot of people because I've seen like, um, well, I've heard of, uh. Uh, Tam Bell do it. Um, Tam did it, and it really wasn't for him or um, marriage reselling, for example. It's not for everyone. But I'm just 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 trying to think now. Like, you, you you've got to try and schedule one, but a lot of people are are on because for me personally, what I've got on the people who I follow tomorrow one two three four five five on tomorrow. I won't be watching anything because I'll be out anyway. Like. Um, seeing the um, Most Haunted, um, which is a British paranormal show going since 2001. Um, it, Yvette Fielding, Carl Beatty, Stuart Torrebell, etc., 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 right? They do a um, stage show. And um, I've seen it, like, um, bits and pieces throughout, like, Instagrams and YouTube and that, and when they've done the lives and stuff. And... It, looks really good i was going to go to guildford g live and play a place near me but i didn't get around it so it's a place in dorking um tomorrow night start at uh, eight o'clock but you've got to get in there for seven to get in your seats and stuff and um they talk about like the show in general and show some highlights and some other bits and pieces and talk about the actual venue itself it's a small venue but i'm really looking forward to that most haunted i can't wait be been following for years since i was like um like teenager about 2006 i think some some like that. And anyway that's what i'm doing so i'm not won't be watching anything on whatnot um yeah no i haven't seen tommy trades but i think it's on youtube as well apparently so but i don't really follow a lot of these people i haven't got time 
for me, what I know is too new, too many low sales. But look on the seller's face when things go for a pound, I can't watch, have to leave. I understand that's it, Carpa. I get that. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I don't just watch like the biggest sellers. Um, but I say I don't watch a lot, but I pop in every now and then, see who's live and go, oh, okay, cool. But a lot of it doesn't interest me, like, really. Um, I only popped into Brums to see if there's any vinyls that I could pick up. Um, I know they'll go a little higher, but I wasn't expecting to get anything. I was expecting just to, to pop in and see what he's like. He, he was dressed up as um, uh, Britpop and stuff, and he's he modelled modeled, modeled himself on, on um, Frank Gallagher out Shameless. <laughs> UK Shameless. All right, our oh, kid. <laughs> and, and I got three vinyls um, and uh, one of his um, arrows, which he did for a... Um, uh, a, a prize and stuff like giveaway and that, but I say not be end all, but you've got to in this world be able to diversify, but you've got to get the stock for it, which which I personally wouldn't be, a, be able to like. And you've got to have the space for it, the good lighting as well. In here, lighting's crap, it's the only place I would be able to do it, but you know, what I mean, you have, have to sort of move, uh, it, it'll be too much of a hassle, you know. Um. A Greek office, different business model, lower profit, big volume, quick turnaround. All right, if you have a constant supply of cheap stock, that is very, 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 very true. Very true. Um, I hunt and get that. If you go and get cheap stock, um, a constant supply, like if you're selling clothing, for example, something for like seven quid, six, five, six, seven quid, and you got it and it's gone, fair enough. But it, it can be difficult when some stuff you you say low could go on eBay or on other platforms for higher value, but you might wait around a year. Yeah, it's it's, it's one of those things. Mm-hmm. But it, it's very difficult. Um, but I think like if we got eBay live selling, then that particular um, one when it does come in in a year or so in UK. It's got to really compete. As if whatnot is still there. Because I don't know like how they're treating all sellers on whatnot. But I know obviously the luxury pickers, they're getting the top dog, top bollocks. Like what they did on Poshmark. They got the um, top bollocks of Poshmark. Or you have a live selling platform. Yeah, what's Poshmark? What? Oh, I want it. Yeah, with Poshmark, yeah. That was in the UK and then obviously went away again. And they were getting a the top bollocks. All, all that. It's, it's like, right, not for me. But it's a, a little bit like um, like when they did the resale summit, luxury pickers and the rest, the rest of that. And, um, you know, and it's like live selling picture. They did that, which is fair enough. Um, but it's not like the one in Australia. Uh, Mel, if you know Mel back from burnout, she is going to eBay Creator Connect, which is 17th to 18th of April, 10 a.m. Uh, uh, but basically like stands sort of thing, not like a whole room. I don't know much about it. I think she went last year. In, in, in Queensland, the Retail Fest, um, 16th to the 18th. So if, on a few days, I think luxury pickers realistically could learn from that, even even though it's a different business model over in, in the, um, Australia. Yeah, yeah, in Gold Coast. Two free tickets, that's all right. It's quite expensive to go, apparently, but you can go and chat to different people through eBay and um, other platforms, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. I, was, I'm, I don't know, but it's, it's what needs to be here in the UK because they've got quite a few. George Thrift, George Flipper, Mel, etc., etc., John the Reseller, and, uh, and all that. I think that's, that's, that's another avenue sort of thing. Like, you know, you've got to get these things right. Um, it's all trial and error. Um, so let's go down the list. 
what not is relatively unheard of of most users are probably resellers looking for a markup as many mar- bargains to be had if they advertise and promote it'll be probably a big success it's exactly what i've said um today and in the past like i need to either advertise like social media biggest advertisement in the world i see advertisements for everything and, and anything not reselling um bands and stuff another thing it comes through when you're looking at um the reels and, and you gotta think about it it's like it's big business um tiktok instagram um and, and, and other social platforms as, as well forget forget the telly because i didn't watch it from a certain age anyway no point but on um like but to be fair eBay had done a lot of adverts um recently which are like oh not another bloody ebay advert um hi cafe is popping in and aa is popped in welcome welcome she's talking about live selling and selling platforms and um all that sort of stuff is live selling the future and do you just sell normal platforms or how do you re- resell um yeah a lot of people as i say n- unheard of like I- i've talked to people and say what, what what's what not now to go f- go through it live selling and kind of show them um, what it is it's very difficult Man City uh, I'm not too fast to be honest as I say Chelsea are playing Man U tomorrow night on telly I won't be here because I'll be in Dorking Hall um, um, on the what uh, on the most haunted stage show so I can't wait Paranormal my favourite anyway so that's the point um but yeah, it's it's difficult when not many people heard of it, and you you sort of have to rely. Most of sellers have to rely on um, subscribers from their YouTube channel or their Instagrams, Facebooks, and you know TikTok. Um, but if you try and captivate an audience, it's difficult. But I personally think the only people who are really benefiting is the bigger ones. I'm not going to name names. You know who I'm on about. You know, a, a lot of people who would want to do it have to think about their business business models. If they can get just stock in cheap stock, if they can sell it for an okay margin, um, it's like Bram said on his live Bram reseller John on on his last whatnot show. He said about like um, he can only sell things are over a certain price because of the fees etc um because i think you use dpd or something or or, or can use raw mail i can't remember now it's certain um ones you can sell with um no, sell ship with your items and stuff but you gotta sort of think if that's gonna go for a quid can you really sell it is it gonna make you a little profit because i think one or two is items but for like four or five pounds and he said if it was if this is going to go lower and then he likes it you know i mean wouldn't, wouldn't have done it like it's got to go for a certain price um i can't think popping in can't see many people my age are not bothering with whatnot at all it's too much time investment watching an auction in the vein hope you get something you, you want 100 mm. percent cafe um yeah it's basically like in the hope as you say of getting what you what you want but wherever whoever you see on right like watch you bid and bid and bid it, it gets that fomo of not fomo what's the word like what i did yesterday with the um resident evil one i was bidding and bidding and bidding because i wanted it and not realized i spent quite a bit of money i'm not going to d- d- disclose what i um, spent on it but quite a bit of money i think shit and you gotta limit yourself but yeah it's too, too much time consuming um but is any other aspect if you're selling then get rid of stuff easier but if you're bringing it in quickly and you've got to try and do two three four shows a week but if you can't get in a well for a time slot then you have, you have to wait. That's why people only do one a week because they've only got a certain time slot. Um, but most of it don't. Anyway, 
Cherry and I discussed at length today. We think that boys' toys and collectibles might do okay, but not much else. <coughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I think so, um, in a way. But what you got to do, like, vinyl, yeah. Um, for right now, let's go to follow... Uh, what not? You've got cards. Um, Funko Pops do well. But you've got to have a captivating audience. You've got to have a social media presence. That's the problem that a lot of people don't have. The presence, the social media. There's loads on right now. Granted, after these... I don't know if they're GB. It says GB on it. So most of these are GB. Pokemon cards and stuff. They open Pokemon cards and what and whatnot on that. Is it just just? Um, I don't know if I've done just GB or or America. I don't know what I've done. But you know, it's so many people on it. Like a lot of um the time doing contemporary, whether US, UK, or or whatever. You know, it's just the demand for it is so high that you've got to have a really good audience to part to actually be able to get like sort of the audience into your show because there's 15 20 shows maybe for Pokemon cards, for whatever clothing, you know, oh, such a pain, but hey ho, is what it is. Um. Yeah, that's why, um, Richard, I don't pretend, like, watch a lot. I just happen to pop in every now and then. If, if time allows, I don't, I don't watch it. Mm. Very, 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 very true. 100%. That's what I was thinking the other day. Can you send that back if, if it's in a crappy condition and and it comes broken, like, if the courier... Has bounced it about like a football, you know, and chucked it about because you you've got to like when you package yourself online, you've got to think about right. What do I need for the package? Do I need this and the other? If if it's going to be like a breakable item or an item that bends quite like a vinyl, you've got to repackage it really well. And if it comes to you from what you spent X amount of money on this particular item, then you think, ah, how can I send it back? But well, I've no idea myself if I, if I like, send stuff back. That's why I don't tend to go on to whatnot a, a lot. It, you know, it's very difficult to send it back. Yeah. Hey, hi, Todd. Thanks for popping in, mate. Hope all is well, mate. Over in uh, US. We're just talking about online selling, whatnot and stuff, and selling in general. Like, because obviously you do a lot of um, eBay and stuff, and you do quite well. Todd, um, but it's uh, over here in the UK, whatnot <coughs> is becoming quite an increasingly a big thing um, that people do, and certain people have got more. Um, what's the word? More well, well, basically they're bigger as such, and they get like um, not so much. Well, I wouldn't say help, but. <sighs> I don't, I don't know, with the child, basically they get help from whatnot, and they get more, I don't know, describe it, but like a lot of bigger people who, who sell, but um, I mean, cl uh, clothing has so much a smaller market, people like to try things on knowing, because it back is easy, correct, yep, yep, definitely, that's why a lot of people that, that you, you see around the, um, Boot sales are now going. Oh, this is not just for eBay. Oh, I'll try this for, for how much can I get for that? Oh, it's going to go and whatnot. You know, yeah, it's, it's a difficult thing. But if if it's in the interest in people's business models to want to sell on there and they can make a good profit, fair enough to them. Personally, and for me, I wouldn't have the stock to actually probably for one or two shows, but the stock to actually keep bringing in for shows um, and obviously the audience for it as well. Because I personally wouldn't want to spend my evenings setting up a show for whatnot and going, oh, I've got to do it now. I can't be bothered now. I want to sit down. After a certain periods during the day, I want to sit down. 
you, you, you know, when I have a dinner, I want to sit down and just rest. I've got family stuff on, or friends to see, or places to go, you know. Like, and and sometimes in the evening, I, I, I spend an hour, half an hour, an hour looking at jumble sales and talk, talking to people about them or chat to my friends, you know. Yes, you may earn a few pence and pounds here, but whenever you take all the fees out and stuff and all that, and when you get your money through the wallet, or wherever, wherever you do, and you can transfer it to your account, yeah, hey-ho. Um, but with growing market in the UK, it's just crazy. <coughs> There's no profit in it. You can't make a living wage or expect subscribers to constantly fund your whatnot. No, it's very true. If what not not going to bring in any other people like do any um, advertisement on social social media, then there's no profit. The only people who do well is, as you know, <coughs> um, through um, like the bigger you want in UK. But <coughs> <coughs> personally, for me, I haven't got the personal time to do shows, and a lot of like. And subscribes to my social media and YouTube channel and that have lives as we all do, and we all can't watch like say I, if I ever did it, say I go live at one o'clock in the afternoon, and I I wouldn't expect many people to pop in that time because they're really busy, or even, or even at seven eight o'clock at night, you know people are so busy these days they can't commit to popping in. I always appreciate it when you pop into this live. Um, and anyway, and watch my videos and stuff, my shorts and uh, and that. But it's just I don't expect it, you know. Yeah, you're, you're still an eBay only seller. Yeah, and same here. I'm hoping to do um, a platform called Vintage. Not sure about that. If I iOS, um, I'm selling there because I've got Vintage Pro it's supposed to be coming soon another platform you could sell but you sell a lot of the items cheaper a bit like ebay really less um art specifics but on that particular platform it's a lot of more scammers which i hear that near enough every day or oh, someone's got scammed here and there and all that oh, not again on vintage um yeah pretty much yeah that's what i'm saying you've got to be careful of the scammers on there you've got to know the signs for it but a lot of people would, yeah because of Vintage Pro is supposed to be coming into UK, whenever that may be, this is something I would really need to do. It's like when I spent a couple of months thinking I need to set up another channel for my gaming, which I have, Quack Attack Gamer. It's in the de description below. Um, I might actually pop that. If, if it, can I pop it in if it's too big? I might be too big. Um, yes, yeah, in the description below, my gaming channel. I thought, you, you know what, I'm going to, Create it around Christmas time, just after Christmas. I'm like, do it, do it, do it, do it. You know, um, I, I, and I've done it. I say me vintage. I want to get get on there just to see how it goes. I'm not to sell loads on it. No, 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 no. Just to see a few things, a few bits of clothing, and a few odds and ends. I know it won't go well on eBay and stuff. I just want to get rid of to create space so I can buy some quality items. Through car boots, jumble sales, online sourcing. Um, it works for Harry Tornado. I'm sure he meant what not for that. But he has so many subscribers. He, he understands that is why he does well and he's lucky. Correct. Yes. You've got to have a number of people subscribing to your shows, watching your shows, and actually buying. Because a lot of people, normal people, wouldn't do it. I, I reckon probably about 70%, 75% are, are under 30. Well, I say 35, just for context on whatnot. You know, buying and looking at things and saying, you've got this, you've got that, you've got this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, yeah, you have a lot, um, personally, many thousands. No one in the UK is that much traction. Um, uh, I'm just 
thinking luxury pickers, yes. I think they've got more tra traction in the UK than most people in the US for just for whatnot. Um personally. She only won. Say no more. But it's what they do. Um because like they, they can do a live just like that, and they they'll, they'll still make loads. But but no one else. People have to really push their shows. Um, so I'm listening. Any questions? Put them in side chat. I'm sticking to eBay, but it's interesting to hear about all other ways to sell. Yeah, hundred um, percent. But as, as I say, I've not been well for f over three weeks, and then obviously I wasn't well um, a month ago, and then. Just made me think a bit more to sell on other platforms as as well as eBay. eBay be my main, um, a lot of things. But you got to weigh the pros and cons and how you can like ship the item to three other platforms, Vinted or Etsy or um, Depop and that. You know what you can sell on there and stuff. You know, and scammers, for example. Mm. Um, let me just get my other channel up. Um, uh, pop it in there. Actually, I put my gaming channel. Um, if this is a link to my gaming channel. Um, if you want to pop in and say, uh, leave a comment on the there we go, perfect. Um, so I've done some lives one, two, three, four, five. And lots of short vi videos. Latest one uh, came out t today. Most days on this, I find it easier for a gaming channel than I do a reselling one. You know, got more ideas on that particular. It's not because I enjoy it more. Don't get me wrong, I've just got m more ideas. It kind of flows naturally into me. That's, that's the other channel. Um, down the list, questions, 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 questions. Yeah. Um, I'll be selling at a flea market May 25th to 29th. That will be some new and hopefully move a lot of product. Yeah, that's what people did like from like over the years through f your flea markets. There are car boots, same sort of thing. Um, setting up your store and your items that you want to sell on there and how much you want to um, like. Uh, sell your items for, and then you've got your pitch free and all that. Mm. But it can be difficult with the, like, especially in the UK with the weather type of thing. And like, it's been really poor lately. And even today, it rained for like an hour, just like randomly in your early afternoon. And it's one of those things, it's very difficult to predict. <coughs> um, and that's why you realistically if you want to sell on these newer platforms, whatnot, and other things, and other live selling stuff. You, you've, you've got to have a contact, whatever you're, you're doing, because you can't guarantee going out to car boots, charity shops, or other places with the weather being so bad as it is. So, I say, I haven't gone out to a car boot yet myself because of the weather, like last two weeks, been awful. <coughs> um, and I mean, this weekend as well, it's supposed to be poor. There's a, a, one of the big, bigger ones down in the south um, on on the 7th, uh, uh, Sunday the 7th. Yeah, but whether it will be on because of the ground conditions, I don't know. Um, but I don't sort of have to rely heavily on it as, as much as I used to be I used to because I go to like on, do online selling, um, buying online, I should say, and jumble sales as well and backlog and stuff and you know it's not gonna last forever but you've got to get out there um and whatnot it's not just the time of the show it's also the time setting up the catalog some people don't do that as they'll be biting them back in the end um yeah i know exactly what you mean and i've had chats with a few people in the past, to have set up what not, like recently, um, people who have set up like what not in the past, and that, and yeah, I know what the time. That's that's what I mean, Kathy. Um, about the time to set the show up uh, during the day, 
it's also the time as well, as you say, the catalogue. So, like, for example, um, photographing items, because you can put in, people can put in pre-bids and stuff. That's, that's what Brum did, some items, pre-bids. Some people just go and go, do 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 Oh, didn't, didn't want that. Don't want that. Oh, I've seen some people, so oh, it's awful, heartbreaking, you know. But you've got time setting up. What, what are you going to sell and put it on there? Um, correct. Yeah, 100%. Uh, thanks very much, Shoot Carper. Yeah, my gaming channel. Yeah, it is. I, I really enjoy that. Um, but I don't get as much time to edit the YouTube shorts. I've got loads I need to edit. 72 subscribers, 78 videos. Um, but no, as I say, I really do enjoy that particular on the gaming channel. Um, uh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. Um, that's down the chat. Uh, Yeah, I know, I know. But what you've got to think about, Kathy, is what not in America is a million times bigger than the UK. UK, we're only realistically start just starting to pick up. It's, it's never going to be as big as the UK. It doesn't matter if you've got 385k subscribers in the US. You can have 385,000 subscribers in the UK and still do shit. It's, it's building up, you, you know. You've got to build it up and up and up. And the and the um also the business model from Harry Tornado to Luxury Pickers a thousand times different. Always will be. Um I've never seen the Harry Tornado show, but I expect you to go boom 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 with items and items and stuff, less chat and just get get on with it. You know, but a diff different ball game in the UK. Same sort of platform, different ball game. Always will be. Uh, that's why we. It's never going to be. Um, for people's main source, you know. But hey ho, it is what it is. Um. Yeah. Uh, so it's going down there. Luxury, 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 luxury. So I'm just going down luxury. Uh. Yeah, four point six k followers. Yeah. They're following 37 at the moment. Uh, yeah, usuals. But I say they're the biggest in the UK. Um, in the effort to get more traction from whatnot. But anyway, that's that. Over and done with. <laughs> um, but as I say, I don't mind watching your occasional whatnot show. It sort of works. Um Works for me watching the audio when I get a chance. Will I be ever selling on there? No, I'll still do my usuals eBay and hopefully vintage and stuff. And when the pro comes out, you know, but just gotta have time. Whatever you're gonna do, live selling wise, it's time. Time to spend um, picking up the items, drafting it, listing it, cleaning it, steaming the clothes. But like what George says, um, George Ross. Like, he's got his missus on board. <laughs> um, like, you've got to... So I've seen, like, the... Um, uh, what do you call it? From George, um, the before, like, the want to show and what he does. It's mad. But, yeah. How many photographs would you recommend for jackets? Oh, well, on eBay... Loads, as many, as many as you can. I sell jackets on eBay before. They're a pain in the ass to photograph and send. I don't need really to do clothing. I'm getting sick of it, to be honest. But hey-ho, to our own shift, me, me clothing ASAP. Um, all you got to think about is um, a, a, every label on the jacket has got to be photographed. Each logo on the jacket. The front, the back, the arms, the zip, anything. If it's got any marks on it, you've got to photograph that. Loads, loads. I, I would usually say 12 plus on a jacket. Bigger jacket, the more you got to do. 
And then you got to do your answer. It takes, it takes forever. And then you got to measure it. It's like, ah. And I'm not a very good measure, even though I know the measurements. Like, <laughs> you know, I just can't be really bothered. Like, that's why for clothing, life selling is piss. Easy. If you, if you brought it for cheap and you can get a few more pounds, mine's all the fees and stuff, and then, then great. You can just whack it. But, hmm, hey ho. Um, <coughs> anyway, let me log out or whatnot because I'm getting a bit, a bit annoyed about that particular subject now. Um, sign out. Right. Okay. Cool. Got any questions? Put them in the old side chat. Um, have a look. Um, so let me uh, take a look. See what videos I'm doing. I haven't done a video. Video in ages um in eight days ago last one i did for my um band i went to see up, up london i'm just i haven't got around to it i just haven't got any sort of like ideas i i like to record stuff i personally think that it's um like literally i feel is going to be of an help to you, right? From what I, I do, if it's, if it's a day vlog or whatever it may be, right? Something that I enjoy recording. I can't just get stuff going, I'll do, did that, did that. No, I have boring now. Like, you know. But I have got a YouTube short coming out. Um, Another Untested Wii. The other one did quite well. I thought, you know what? Untested Wii, will it work? The second one that I had, uh, the box Nintendo Wii's. Um, I, I say these ones here. I'll answer your question in a second, Kathy. I did see it. I saw it all through different platforms. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. One of these little bad boys. Um, one of these little bad boys. It's pretty much all in there. I should have sold them up in Christmas time, but I didn't. Um, and you realistically at car boot, you're not going to get them for a ten or under. You very rarely. And I don't really sell these very often. I try and pick up the controllers, nunchucks and stuff, and um, games if they're good. But I thought, you know what? I've got three. I've tested two. I got to do a quick, another quick test because I forgot to take photographs when I test them. What an idiot! When you test stuff, take photographs when you test it, like whether it's game console or a whatever, or, or if it's, if you're testing like CD players and that, or or <laughs> video players, take videos, photographs. You know, when when you're doing it, I, I forgot, so I've got to plug it in. <coughs> um, um, I've got to set up another Wii set up in the back room, so I'll do that tomorrow, hopefully, be be before I head out, because I won't be in tomorrow evening. I should be enjoying myself, paranormal show. I'm up near where I live. Um, so, yeah, don't pick them up very often. If it's under a tenner, maybe, because you only get about, like, 40, 45, realistically. More at Christmas time for N Nintendo Wii, but a box... And that's just a standard Nintendo Wii. You've got a different variation, which I won't go into here. Um, yes, I've seen it all on social media. Um, what I kind of gathered from thinking about what I've... Um, when I popped into Z's lives over the last month or so and to a social media post and stuff, I think his um, lease is up, is up very, very soon. Um, so he doesn't want to renew his lease because personally, over the last month or two, he's <clears throat> um, <clears throat> sorry, one second, it's better. Um, over the last month or two, he's reduced the amount of hours that he's in the shop, so each week it's different hours. Um, I think he's doing like three, three or four days a week, something like that, because Bex has got a full time job. Can't remember what she's got, but she's got a full full time job, and so here really want to concentrate on his um, 
online. Like, for example, get back into eBay, more on his website, um, more on to TikTok, Instagram, maybe possibly whatnot, for example, um, and all, all, all that and that, and sell out different toy fairs because loads of toy fairs over the UK. Um, but he's got a business model in mind. I personally think so here. He's got a business model in mind for what he wants to do, but he'll release some videos throughout to um, l tell us anyway. But yeah, maybe I have. Maybe it's the same up there as down south. Like, the rent is extortionate. That's why so many shops just lay there untouched for months because they can't get any shop in there because they can't pay the extortionate rent. Um... Hi, Patch. Thanks properly, mate. Hope all is well. Um, yes, it's very, very niche for that small high street. Only really in the summer periods <coughs> and throughout when the weather's nice um, during holidays and stuff that you'll get the good tr trade. And the Thursday, I think they do a market on there, but you'll miss it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, where is a busy high street these days? And and you can't even say going to a shopping centre because it's a bloody source of rent and stuff, you know. But I'm sure he's got a um, plan in mind um, to hear. So, um, yeah. Um, right. Any questions, pop them in the side chat. Um, but it's, it's a shame that he's given up shop because I've watched, I've watched her here for years. One of the first people I watched. Um, so here, only cool stuff. I used to watch her here when he used to stream Fortnite many, many, many moons ago. 2017 18, and I popped into some of his lives and played with him a few times. Um, you know, and he has another channel other than, other than only cool stuff, but I can't remember. <laughs> um, <coughs> but it's such a shame that his, his shop is um going. Um, so I pop in there. Uh, yeah, it's only cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, yes, he went in there when he um, I think it was before COVID, wasn't it? I can't remember. Yeah. I would always like to go. It's a bit, a bit far, but yeah, it's it's good to get there to see it um, in the flesh. Like only N L Y cool stuff. There we go. Let's have, let's just have a quick look. So you don't do a mega loads on on the channel. It was when he had really long hair before it started going proper grey two years ago. Um, let's have a look at his first video on there. Let's go down the list. Um, yeah, sat at the shop during lockdown. Yeah, it was before lockdown when they got the shop. Last day before lockdown. Yeah, it was bef way before then. I'm just trying to have a look. Oh, this must be 2019, I'm sure of it. Um, setting up our pop-up shop. Uh, 2000 and... Oh. Must have been second lockdown in uh, uh, Christ Christmas, not the first one. 
Yeah, not in the first lockdown, the second lockdown. Yeah, it must be in the second lockdown. Yeah, in de December 2021. Yeah. Can't wait till we reopen. But yeah, yeah, he's... Um, went in the plunge after the first lockdown and... That's, that's right. It's not far for us. Great to call in on your way to Blackpool. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know when he's officially closing it, but it's sure he announced that at some point. Um, but yeah. He's, he's got a business, business model that he wants to do and to get up to him. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Right, right, as I say, I've got a YouTube short going out tomorrow early. I think it's early. Um, tested an another Wii. <laughs> Easy enough to, to do with a Scott lead and all this, that sort of stuff. Doesn't take long. Um, other than that, I don't know if I get to a jumble sales weekend. I'd possibly not. It is, is a few on. I just can't be asked to travel. I'm not in the mood right now. Um, can't be the weekend. Don't know. If I do announce early that the car boot's off, like announce on Friday, then I'll be, be like, yeah, you, you know what, go to a jumble, see what it's like. But if I don't, then I'll have to take the risk. Um, but as, as I say, I really want to get out and about with different vlogs and get out there because I've not been able to have them. Um, uh, Hitch, hitching is the last one I ever been able to do. Um, our boot sales haven't even started yet, Cafe. They haven't even started. Waterlog Fields. Nope. Um, the winter boot sale that was in the local car park is crap. I don't go to it. There is one nearly an hour away that I don't bother with. Um, because it's crap. I've heard bad things about it, but I do know people who have been. Yeah, because you're a bit further out than me, Pat, are you? Let's know roughly where you're from, Patch. I'm sure I've seen you with other resellers. Um, yeah, the books I'm thinking of, it's in 43 minutes. But if the M25 is done, um, then you have to go a different route, which is nearly an hour, 45, no, nearly 50 minutes away. But yeah, there's no boot sales around here yet. Oh, you are? Okay. A bit further than I thought. I must be a mix up with other gaming YouTubers who are more east to me. <coughs> okay, cool. Yeah, no, they're still waterlogged at the moment. Um, even even though it was dry on Sat uh, on um Sunday, last Sunday, but we have to see if uh, any more rain, then uh they won't be running them, which is a shame because last year it was the beginning of April before they ran the car boots. We'd be more than that this year. We hit up a garage sale on Saturday. Hope that went well, um, Patch. I haven't been to a garage sale in a few years. I I can't find. Garage, uh, well, I don't find garage sales profitable, right? I used to because I've had a few on my channel. I did, I think, two um, with the GoPro. It's it's a lot of bollocks anyway. Like, fair enough if you've got some good stuff, don't get me wrong. It's just, just, just a little hassle though, garage sales. Um... Now, it's down the list, I, I did a few <coughs> over the years. I found them after lockdown. And I came across one, and I went went to one, and you know, um, uh, oh, oh, jumble trail halls and vlogs. Um. 
right. Jumble Trail Horn Vlogs. Review the full playlist. I don't play all. That's what I want. Um, yeah. One with a GoPro. Two with a GoPro. And the rest with another camera. The Sony... One of the crappy cameras I did. Weren't very good. But I've done... One... Two, three, four, five, six. Six over the years. Last night I did was a few years ago. Was back in with the old GoPro that I had. GoPro Seven that I lot that I um that broke in last year in Eastbourne. Nineteenth of October twenty twenty one. I I don't find them profitable. It's just too much hassle. I can get more stuff going places closer than I can going further afield. Um, local was called off today, hoping to go tomorrow. Yeah, George said, said about his local as well was called off. But hopefully you get some good stuff. Richard, Warrington car boot was on today, but you would have played dodge with, with, with the puddles. Yeah. A lot of people probably would have gone down there, but we don't have any during the week, um, un well, it's until May time, when there's one that opens during the week. Well, oh, actually, no, no, it's saying that. There is another one, but that one during the week is only until the other one starts during the, in May. C-R-Y-S-T-A-L. Which is 40 minutes away. A bit of a bugger to get to, especially early in the morning. Uh, me, I go for games. Becky looks for stuff to sell on. Fair enough. If if you can get like go to the good, find good stalls, then it's worth it. And you got a map because when I used to go to Jumble Trails, Gary Sales, and that, I used to ask for the pre-map, right? The pre-map for the um, Jumble Sales, um, one like online a map online and what i used to do is i used to um let's put it down there. I, I i used to write look online and go okay that's still there and try and work out a route but it's very difficult when you get stalls that said they're going to set up but then they never do because i've been to jumble um trails where it's um like 25 degrees and you're sweating like tits off uh, and I've been to one where it's just chucked down with rain. It's not worth going because everyone's got inside. And, like, and, and you're going round and round and round. And what I f also find is I don't tend to do it because I tend to wait till, well, I, I, I did tend to wait till it officially started. But a lot of reseller resellers who, who are local, local, literally go round seeing people set up like an hour, an hour and a half before. And after good stuff is gone before, like a boot sale, realistically. Um, but I got some good stuff in the past. It's just very difficult, and, and it's going around streets and stuff. It's very hard to park, and petrol costs quite a bit of money, and uh, it's, just, it's just difficult. Like, um, and I don't know. Yeah, I met a few people like who re I recognise and recognise me. I met, met Nick and Andrea twice at Jumble Trails. But I, I just couldn't make it profitable, you know, for the travel down to the place or up to the place. I couldn't make it profitable, even if I knew where it was. It took so long sometimes to actually get to the place um, with a route and stuff. So and, and, and some of them would be like 50 to 100 stalls. That's, that's if they're on, because some of them wouldn't set up or some would um, close early and you will go around and think, oh, that's closed. I would never get to after them anyway, and I'm like, oh, what's the point? And I'm like, oh, we're talking about petrol, I've got this, and is that going to worth me to go? That's why I sort of went, no, nope, I can't do them anymore. But Nick and Andrew um, go to, to garage sales, I do really well. But I, I can never seem to do it. But I, I thought, you know, I look elsewhere, and that's why Jumble Sales came up. And I like Jumble Sales because that's like a what I call a filler. And for me, I... In a way, if I can't get to any other places to source, or, or, or I don't get a chance to source online, I, I go somewhere where it may be half an hour away, 20 minutes, an hour, and 
there and sometimes you get good stuff sometimes you don't and if you get good really good stuff you're like oh, wow, that's good i i've got like a little filled myself like with stock and, and filler until i can get to a boot sale or look online or other places you know because charity shops are no go anyway so it's no point but hey ho is what it is um but I'm, but I'm sure boot sales will be back on at some point in the next month I'm hoping, um, because there is a few jumblers. It's a couple, no, a few on the, uh, the weekend. But whether I will go on to them, some of them are pretty far away, though. Like, I have acquaintances that help out finding jumble sales, and it's like, oh, ooh, mm, don't know. I've got enough stuff anyway, but it is what it is. Um... That's what I like. So, all right, I'm going to end the live in a second. So, if you're popping in, um, oh, yeah, one second. I'll just uh, read these couple of comments before I go. You have a lot of jumble sales near you. It's good to see they haven't all died. We have more jumble sales most weekends than I've seen in the whole UK. Literally, like you sometimes you've got to travel an hour away for them. But literally, it's got to a point where I got onto um, Word and I wrote each month out, and I've got literally a whole pile of jumbles that are on, a whole pile that are not on, that I haven't found the information for it yet. Loads, so many. I don't get to half, half them anyway. I've got so many that are on. Um, big ones, small ones, ones I've never been to, ones I've been to before. It's down Surrey, um, West Sussex, East Sussex and Kent and parts of London. They're very, very, very big business. You've got to look beyond just the church halls and the um, scout places. I'm even getting to a point where I'm getting paid off at the amount that are on, you know. So, not another one. It's just like when I filled out all my details of all the jumble, so I, so I don't forget for next because I forgot all of them. This I'm like, oh shit, I got to reckon I remember them. It took forever, but when I've for, for next year's jumbles, I've got all the information. I can just um copy it across, you know. Um, but a bit weird. At the garage sales, got spotted by one of my subscribers. Yeah, it, it can be very weird, like. It's, it's, it's nice, don't get me wrong, to chat to subscribe for a few minutes. and But at a jumble trail, fair enough, but not at a car. Well, a car, but yes, I, I, I like to chat to people. And I see Pat there and um, Pit, Rich, um, <coughs> <coughs> uh, Peter Cummings, um, sales are unexpected, and other people and that, and recognise me. But it can be very difficult when you're trying to get stuff and that. But it's, 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 it's lovely. I met by loads of people over the years. Um of popping in, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end the stream now. So do give all my social media a follow and I look at my eBay store and stuff. Um, subscribe as well for more content on this channel and Quack Attack Game on my game channel. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you later. Take care. And see ya for popping in.